climbing the big mountain in the Twin Peaks. Look at this one here. My testimony as to what it was like when I stopped doing intermittent fasting just for one day and what a tremendous difference it was. To Jim Musselman says he's been watching my videos since September and he started doing intermittent fasting at the end of September and he's lost 50 pounds. 50 pounds doing intermittent fasting. Jim Musselman, congratulations, man. That's incredible. That's an amazing, tra life-changing transformation of 50 pounds. And I'll tell you, I want to say thank you for leaving the comment, Jim, because then you're going to inspire others, including my own dad. My dad, now that it's holiday time, he wants to lose weight. He says he wants to lose 40 pounds of fat. And he says, I told him, I said, you got to start watching my videos, dad, and, and you know, do the intermittent fasting. I said, so Jim Musselman, thanks for leaving that comment. That was really helpful. You could inspire someone like my old man. When we meet here in person in San Francisco, it's going to be at my favorite place and the best place to go anywhere in the city by far no question about it it's called mission dolores park my experience of stopping intermittent fasting for just one day I decided that I wasn't gonna do intermittent fasting I was gonna go out go have brunch with the family at 11 o'clock and I started eating cookies and junk food at around 11 1130 I had some omelets some great eggs and, and some ham and then what I noticed obsession with food continued on from there not only did I did I eat then, but I also wanted to have more food afterwards. So I came home and I wanted to snack even more. There was like fruit, or there was candy, or there was like chocolate. Cravings for like peanut butter, anything I could get my hands on. I started running eating. I was like, this is my day. I'm gonna I keep going and keep going. And then I was to have a big giant meal at like six o'clock. The big giant like Christmas dinner, ham, prime rib, potatoes green beans, the whole works. So what I did in the meantime is I went ahead and did like a, a, like a long walk just to like get myself going for it. I did like a five and a half mile walk and I shot a video actually downtown during the walk. You can watch it here. It was my last video I just did. You can watch it here, check the video out. On the walk that I made, it was like a five and a half mile walk. But what I noticed, my obsession with food, it came back once I stopped doing intermittent fasting. I wanted more food. I wanted to keep eating food I, habitually. I wanted to eat. I wanted to find more food. After I was still full, I still wanted to find more. And my appetite kept picking up and growing. So I, mean, I immediately went back into intermittent fasting. I noticed I wasn't as lean. I definitely wasn't as lean. I wasn't as tight. There's no question about it. You know, just because you know, stopping the intermittent fasting just for one day, I wasn't as tight. So immediately I went back into skipping the breakfast and pushing out the meal as far as I could. And now it's, uh, it's like 4.30 in the afternoon and I'm not even hungry at all. I'm not hungry at all. I haven't thought about food at all. I just want to get some more water, drink a lot more water, some sparkling water, maybe some black coffee. I have no interest at all in food. Hazem says I love you. Gavin, well I love you too Hazem. Thanks for watching. And Tony T-Man, thanks for the encouragement. I appreciate you. Also Hank, he says you want to do a a call with me on Skype to share information. You know, I'm always open to uh, to meeting new people. I hope I'm saying the name right. You had a question regarding as a vegetarian, can you build muscle and lean mass doing intermittent fasting? And I saw another comment come in from the gentleman who said he was, who was under the name Potato Strong, saying he was definitely building lean mass doing intermittent fasting. You know, I don't have experience with it, but I will tell you that it, you're going to need a lot of protein to build lean mass and a lot of amino acids. The key is amino acids. Food is spirulina for vegetarians. So using spirulina like wisely, adding that into your diet, 
having a lot of that is, is definitely a good idea. You're gonna need to make sure you're getting a lot of protein. I mean, in the way of a vegan-based protein, non-GMO soy, it's non-GMO, of course. So anyways, thank you so much for the comment. Thanks for watching. Now here at the Mission Dolores Park, my favorite place to be, and we'll definitely meet here sometime in the future. Definitely if you're in San Francisco, I'll come out and meet you here. We'll get together at Mission Dolores Park and shoot a video, man, it'd be great. All right. Uh, the hoodie, uh, the back. Take a picture of the back of your shoe. Yes. Got it. Awesome. Got a bunch of them. Subscribe down here, I'll put a 